head over to the textbook and to-do list tab that's right under lessons in our menu. So I'm going to click textbook and to-do list. That takes us to the to-do list for spring 2016. Let's open it up. Now our to-do list says that on January 8th, that was last Friday, we had an academic honesty policy and syllabus quiz. This is one quiz that you can complete still, even though it's after the due date. So knock out your academic honesty policy quiz, knock out your course entry quiz that's due on January 15th, the course entry quiz you have to complete if you want to remain enrolled in the course. Finally, the module one quiz is going to be due by January 15th. Now, course entry quiz and the module one quiz both do by this coming Friday. If you want to complete the course entry quiz, head to the upper left portion of the page and click on course entry quiz. This will take you, if you scroll to the bottom, to the course provided by Wake Tech that you need to knock out to remain enrolled. Once you take the course entry quiz, head on over to the lessons area and click on modules and practice. Under the modules and practice tab, you'll find your academic honesty policy and syllabus quiz. Let's check it out together. So I'm going to start the quiz by clicking begin. Now question one, and there's only one question, basically says that you've read and understand the honesty policy and the syllabus. Now, this is the only quiz where it tells you the answer. Option A says I have read and understood, and it says, hint, this is the right answer. So I'm going to click A and hit Save and Submit. This turns in my quiz. So let's see how we did. All right, got 100%, so my first 100 of the semester. I'm going to click OK. That takes us back to modules and practice. If we scroll down, this has opened up exam one material. So let's click. This is where you're going to find module one. Module one is your introduction to chemistry. So let's click and see what we find. We've got PowerPoint slideshows. We've got videos in this section. Go a little further down and we have problem sets. And these problem sets have fully worked out keys so you can see how the work was done. And wrapping this up in module one, if you feel like you need extra practice, I have links posted that'll take you out onto the web for particular topics. Now, when you're finished going through module one material and you feel confident, head over to the quizzes section under assignments. The guidelines for all quizzes are at the top, two attempts for any quiz and 60 minutes per attempt. So even if you log out, the timer still runs. And since we completed our honesty policy and syllabus quiz, module one quiz is opened up. There is a password. That's so you can't accidentally open the quiz. You have to type in quiz one is your password to start module one quiz. Just as a helpful reminder from me to you, uh, you guys do have two attempts on your quiz. That doesn't mean that you have to do quizzes back to back. So definitely take your time on these. Uh, finish your first quiz, learn from your mistakes. Then go back and reattempt your quiz after you've studied up. Now, after you wrap up module one this week, uh, let's tackle module two because next week you do have a quiz coming up on module two. Don't wait until the last minute to attempt your quiz. Start early and allow for technical difficulties. There are no extensions because I will, at the end of the semester, drop your two lowest quizzes. Also, if you have technical difficulties, that's why we have the two attempt policy. You have two attempts on each quiz. Don't burn your attempts. If you have technical difficulties, contact me by email or contact Blackboard. If you guys are likely to have math problems this semester because Chem 90 does involve a fair bit of math, please get in touch with me early so that we can make arrangements for you to get the extra help that you need. There's the STEM Center, there's Smart Thinking Online Tutoring, there's the ILC that can work you, with you on your math skills, and I can set you up with these resources and make sure that it's tailored to what you need for Chem 90. So just get in touch with me, jrwhitehead at waketech.edu, 
or 919-866-5388 and I can set you up with a referral. Thanks for watching.